egg donation. The term egg donation applies to the gifting of eggs for use in fertility treatment or research. Egg donors can either donate all of their eggs in a treatment cycle, which is known as non-patient egg donation, or share their eggs with up to two recipients in each cycle, which is known as egg share donation. Okay, so according to my records, you're here today to talk about donating your eggs, is that right? Yes, I've read how little children they want, and they want to give the others the joy of a family. Okay, well, should we take a look at the process then? Yes, please. Okay. You would have to undergo counselling to ensure that egg donation is the right decision for you, as it is a very invasive procedure. After this, you would have to have some blood tests to screen for any diseases you may have. The process begins by suppressing your ovaries by desensitising the pituitary gland, either with a nasal spray or injections for two to four weeks. After this, daily injections are used to stimulate the ovaries to release egg cells over 10 to 14 days. Regular blood tests and ultrasound scans are taken to determine the stage of the ovulation cycle and to match your stage of the ovulation cycle with the recipients. The egg collection procedure is performed through the vagina with a needle under either general or local anaesthetic. On average, 10 oocytes are collected per donation. The sperm and eggs are then treated in the clinical laboratory and placed in an incubator. If fertilisation takes place and the embryos are of high enough quality, they are implanted into the uterus, a maximum of two each cycle. I'm happy to go ahead with the procedure. Fantastic. Right, the next thing to be talking about is the ethical implications. Yes. So the first thing is that when the child turns 18, you'll be encouraged to write a letter to them just to explain who you are. Uh, and secondly, is that e even though the child comes from you, because it's your egg, you, um, you aren't actually legally that child's mother. The carrier of the child is, is the mother, and therefore she gets all the obligations of that child. Um, yeah, that's happy fine. with that? Okay, and also one thing I just want to point out is that your eggs can be used in scientific research. Okay. about five years now and recently we've been talking about the possibility of having a child but we're not quite sure about the processes involved so would you be able to explain it please? Well there really are two options available to you. You can either adopt a child or you can use a donated egg and fertilise it with sperm from one of you and then if fertilisation can occur the egg would be carried by a surrogate mother. Right well I don't really like the thought of bringing up a child that isn't biologically related to one of us so I think it would have to be the latter. Um, one thing in, that you really need to consider is that if you do want a biological child, it will only be fathered by one of you. That's quite a difficult decision to make, isn't it? Well, that's something you need to consider before any treatment can occur. Okay, thank you. We'd like to have a child together, but I've been told that I'm infertile, so we can't have any children. And we've tried IVF plenty of times, but it doesn't work. What can we do next? Okay, well, the first thing you, you could consider is egg donation. And this is where the, the donor egg is fertilised with the husband's sperm, and then that fertilised egg is then implanted into your uterus. Now, an alternative method would be to get a surrogate mother, and then the egg is implanted into that surrogate mother, and she gives birth to it. Now, both of these methods do come with a lot of ethical issues that must be considered before any kind of treatment goes and takes place. And what kind of issues do we need to consider? Okay, well, first of all, you've got to consider the impact of the egg donation that has on the child when they grow up as, of course, they'll need to be informed that you're not, in fact, his or her biological mother. Um, and uh, another issue is one regarding the egg donor. So um, she may want to be anonymous, which means that the child will never know who, who his or her biological mother is. Um, and it, also, if you opt to have a surrogate mother carry your child, then you've got to be aware that she has the right to keep the child unless an adoption order or parental order is signed beforehand. Okay? Thank you. Gamete donation is seen as a form of spousal infidelity since it introduces a third party into a relationship and disrupts the sanctity of marriage. Surrogacy is described as a failure to meet the obligations of maternal love and as a detriment to families. The Synod believes that children are a gift from God in creation. Children are not a commodity or a means to an end to satisfy the needs of a parent. Issues involved in egg donation include Surrogacy who, who owns the child? Should the surrogate be paid? Who has rights over the egg? Should the donation be anonymous? Emotional issues with a child that result from a donation. Financial and legal obligations of the donor. 